Yesterday, a uh, free agency was announced earlier than expected, so I couldn't properly greet you, which was different from my intention. So I feel sorry about it. I entered as a trainee in 2019 and was so happy to be able to play with such great Hyungs until this year. I'm grateful to Honor, Hyung 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 Hyung, who has been through everything with me since I was a trainee. Faker, Sang Hyung Hyung, who I always learned a lot from. Goodbye, you see Min Hyung Hyung, who always gave me positive energy, and Keria Min Sok Hyung, who helped me play comfortably, and a team that believed in me and gave me a chance. It was an honor to receive so much love as a member of T1, and I'm so sorry that I'm leaving so suddenly, even though they gave me so much love. I still can't believe it. But I'm sorry that the fans might have been very surprised. I'm so grateful to the manager who always took good care of me and to the team leader. Uh, I was honored to receive much love as a member of T1. I'm sorry to that I'm leaving so suddenly, even though they gave me so much love. I still can't believe it. I'm sorry to the fans that must have been very surprising. I'm grateful to the manager who always took good care of me, to the team leader, and for the T1 COO, Wung Min Yim, too. I'm also so grateful to the coaches who always believed in me and allowed me to learn a lot. And as I have learned so much from T1, I will always try to learn from my shortcomings and become a player who can improve further when I go to the other teams. Thank you for reading my ramblings. Well, we will be. I will miss Zeus. I think Zeus was insane. I think T1 without Zeus is not the same T1. I think Doran is a great player as well. But uh, I, I really, really, really like Zeus. And I think that Zeus leaving T1 is a huge blow to all the T1 fans. And my heart too. Did Mickey answer you? Kinda. I mean, I guess, yeah. Zeus fully chose to go to Hanwha. T1 got screwed by not being able to pick up Kin. Really fucked up thing the agent did was delay the final negotiation so Kin could go to Gen.G. Then fuck T1 over with Zeus committed to Hanwha. Not sure who made that decision, but that painted them in a bad light. Zeus is not even innocent this one Mao. Both Zeus and his agent delayed the negotiations with T1 as much as possible until they confirmed that Kin resigned with Gen.G. Pretty fucked up I must say and I can see why people, China, Korea and some English fans are mad with how Zeus handled Tink. When T1 could have gone with Kin if they knew he won't be resigned with the team verbally saying he will. Wait, there is some drama? There, are, there is actually drama. Holy shit. Uh, T1 said yes. Okay, T1 said, said, okay, here is one plus one corner, much better for the player with higher pay. Zeus and his agents said no. The meal was supposed to be at 9am, but Zeus and his agents didn't show up, to, so his agents pushed it to 3 pm notified T1 to way too late. Finally, T1 asked for a phone negotiation with Zeus, also refused. T1 rushed there from Gangnam to Incheon, even calling Zeus' family for, for his uh, home phone because he stopped responding to his phone. They arrived at 4 pm, in which Zeus had signed with Hanwha at 3.40 pm. Three years of Z O F G K and the great results of all time broken by fucking 20 minute difference. While some of these resources may be wrong, we will also have to hear from Zeus POV. If this is all true, this is worse for Kana uh, incident. That sounds really fucked up, yeah. I, I mean, the whole drama is completely fucked up. I think if they if he couldn't sign with the team just because his agency fucked him over so much and not only him, but everybody around, even signing Kin earlier so T1 can go for that is just, the whole the whole thing is fucking messed up. And all, honestly, I don't even know how happy I would be if I'm Doran in all of this because it seems like Doran is a bit of a reject. Sure, T1 signed Doran, but only after Zeus and Kin were not available. And you have public rumors going around that Dora that they wanted either of them instead of him, right? So that just sounds like Doran got signed only because no one nobody else did. Okay, let's see. Zeus Kin agents allegedly work together illegally to screw over T1. A fake? None of this is verified and should be considered a rumor at this point. Interesting to see what happens if this is true, considering agents in Korea are answerable to riot issued licenses. My post was removed from League of Legends for breaking the rules. It was a shit post anyway, XD. I just ran it through Google Translate. Anyway, do I have this right? Zeus and Kin are managed by two different agencies, but only on paper. Same route implies collusion. T1 had a verbal agreement to sign Zeus, but the agency bluffed, asked T1 for a ridiculous high dollars to buy time. So T1 asked this agency to let them know uh, what their intentions are before Kin resigns, so T1 can grab him if they can't Zeus. But the agency goes at T1 until after the Kin resigned to Genji. When negotiations began again on November 19, T1 had intention of spending more to keep Zeus, but then his this agency told T1 that Hanwha offered more, not even 400k more, and goes to T1. 
After being mental boomed by this series of actions, Tiwan quickly contacted Doran against inside him. Tiwan always wanted to re retain ZOFGK to keep ZOFGK branding. They were ready to give uh, the players whatever they wanted plus multi-year contracts. Zeus agent walked a fine line between legal and illegal to fuck Tiwan over. So all of Tiwan is mental boomed right now. Tiwan will dig to find whatever they can to serve them papers. T1 is enraged and is in vengeance mode. They will contact TV stations, find whatever they can to sue these guys. <laughs> Holy fuck! That sounds insane! T1 in, in, indeed to brand around ZOFGK to be successor to Faker. T1 had a verbal agreement that was finalizing signing Zeus, but that a plan B, plan C all foiled. T1 lost their ZOFGK brand, their merge cancelled, have nothing left to lose, so they're on bloodthirsty crusade against Zeus legacy. Agency, not legacy, agency. It's, it's about this agency, not about Zeus. Overheard T1 Sue shout his words on his name, he will never forgive them. And if that was really all they did, T1 wouldn't be on, on this crusade. There's something even more fucked. P.S. I'm not a Twitter person. Can somebody li please link some Twitter people who are live translating this stuff? I can follow updates. Is that true? Did they fuck over T1 that hard? Negotiation process. Following their world championship victory, T1 initiated a contract discussion with each player spearheaded by a uh, CEO and director. Kare was the first to finance his renewal with honor commercial following shortly after. Fans of T1 strongly voiced their desire to preserve the roster. The sentiment was reflected in the overwhelming demand of T1's 2024 world championship merchandise during pre-orders. Uh, the CEO, the enthusiasm sh shown for the championship merchandise clearly conveys the fans hope all the players uh, compared this to Faker when he was going to test free agency back during 2021 when T1 was 10 men ma musical chairs. He waited for Joe Mash even though Joe flight was delayed from US to Korea and spoke face to face. Joe confirmed this was the closest T1 was to losing Faker that royalty can never be bought. Joe confirmed he was offered over 20 million from LPL. He still went with T1 in the end. Oh my God. Yeah, F Faker got Faker got 20 million from LPL apparently. 20 million contract offer and he still stayed at T1. I think his leg legacy at T1 is worth more than this though. So it makes sense. Zeus agents about to have some tra uh, some heavy traffic in front of the building. Classic top laner agency. They glazing for extra 500 million one is crazy. They want it so badly, feel bad for Zeus. Nah, I, I don't know, man. New update, Kin and Zeus are from the same agency. Rumors, they let Kin resign the morning first, so Kin isn't in the marketing now. Then they can charge way more for Zeus and increase the money. This actually matches why Zeus side didn't show up in the morning meeting. T1 is fucking angry. They describe this as a gray uh, area in the law. Yeah, that, okay, that, chat, this is, this is sounding insane. The drama, the drama is insane with this. It's absolutely insane. If, if his agency did that and they are just trying to get the money for themselves because they are complete rat agents and they are trying to sign off Kin for more money and then they can charge more for Zeus because Kin is out of the market and the only top laner T1 can really go for is Doran and then T1 signs Doran um, because I mean they basically have no choice. Bro, that's fucking insane.